Hello, we are going to be talking about water play today. So water play can happen inside and outside your house. I know hearing it happen inside your house can sound quite scary, but it doesn't have to be that scary, I promise. So if you're doing it inside your house, I would just use a, a toy box or an empty toy box or um, a sort of plastic container, quite a big one. And I would put a blanket or an old blanket or some towels on the floor underneath um, the box. Uh, I would fill it a quarter to a halfway full and um, the best way for, for water play to happen is just by leaving around plastic containers and um, cups and maybe some sponges as well um, and letting your children enjoy playing in the water. Uh, I must remind you that water play should always be supervised but all of the things I'm going to talk about today should be able to be done quite independently but just you keeping an eye out um, while they play in the water. So um, that's the simplest way to make play, water play happen but if you were looking for some variations or some, some additions that you could make to your water play maybe you're already doing that. I've had a look uh, online at some of the fabulous things people are sharing and I just try to recreate them at home with the items that I have found around that I think you would have as well. So first of all, I just wanted to say that not all children like playing in the water um, and not everyone likes the sort of same textures and feels. So you can ver make variations on that by filling a shallow tray with water and just letting children put their hands or feet in it um, and splashing. Or you could make one of these. So I've just used a zip, a zip bag. It's not a Ziploc bag, it's just one of those seal bags. Ziploc works better. I think this would last for probably one play session and you'd probably have to empty it and, and restart so I wouldn't want it to leak in your house. Um, but I filled it like a quarter of the way full. And then when it's flat, you can see um, it allows that sort of splishing and splashing without getting wet. And these also can be added, um, uh, food colouring can be added to these as well. And they make quite good, again, calming and therapeutic uh, play uh, things as well. So that is, first of all, a variation if your child isn't that keen on getting wet. Um, this is really handy. Um, I've also seen some uh, like hook a duck uh, or toy rescue games. And so you could just do that again with some small uh, figures that you have in your house and either like a utensil like this or a colander or a sieve for your children to rescue the toys and then maybe put them back in. You could turn that into a bit of a game. Um, I've also seen some toy wash or car wash games. So um, this is easy to set up. It could be just one tray with soil or mud or soil from a plant or mud from your garden in and um, the children can play with and then another bowl with water and a sponge and they can just clean their clean their car wash or they can do um, uh, animal clean up or whatever toys that you have at home. So again, just extending on those toys that you already have within your house. Uh, whisks are good fun and so are sticks for stirring the water and they're always good fun. And then some more more variations thinking about games and things that you might want to set up is using recyclable materials so an empty sauce bottle can be filled with water you could either put another bottle at the end of the um, garden or on a wall um, and squirt it and, and try and shoot it down or you could use the targets from last week from the aeroplanes and try to hit the targets there as well that would work um, another idea is to make an origami boat this was quite easy it took a couple of minutes uh, for me to uh, make and see whose floats or see how many characters you can get in there um, equally the same can be done with junk modeling uh, keep going on about junk modeling but it is great it's a great thing to have in your house and um you can also use things like paintbrushes and rollers outside, um, make art on the pavements and on the walls. Um, and also don't forget about things like watering cans and colours they make great um, play objects in water, but they do make quite a big splash. I would suggest using them outside of your house. Um, I hope this helps. If you want any other tips or if you want us to focus on anything in particular, then please let us know. Uh, bye for now. Thank you.